Yeah, like the people. Let me record myself. Like the people on that, uh, on that, uh, like on my mother's side, they stubborn. Mm -mm, you gotta. They'll be. They'll tell you in a minute. Look, man, I ain't trying to hear that shit. You, they, they'll say it literally. Say it like that. You believe what you want to believe. I believe. Now this is this is how they justify. It. And you say, well, I'm gonna prove to you. Well, baby, they have to, this is how ignorant they'll do. They'll be like, well, baby, you can keep your proof to yourself. I got my own thoughts of what I feel that's proof. You got your own proof. They got their own proof. Your proof is your proof, and my proof is my proof. And I'll be like, that doesn't even, I say, yeah, everything is a proof. I can take this here, and like, this is real. I can take and make up something and make make one one fake. And make this one put the fake, hide the fake one, and give you a fake, uh, uh, make a fake one, and make you think it's the real one. But there's a difference between I said every proof doesn't mean it's the, it's the truth. That's what I tell. Them. That's my comeback on. Them. Cause see, they think they'll be able to say something and be able to shut me down, but they ain't gonna be able to say nothing and shut me down at all. Cause I say, look, I understand what you're saying. Everybody got their own proof. But I'm showing you there is only one proof, and the proof is this truth. Because everybody has a different definition of what they think truth is. That's why the Most High says, no, knowing this first, I think it's first Peter, he says, no prophecy, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So you got that goes back to what you just said. You have your own private interpretation. That person have their own in private interpretation. But when you read the Bible, the Bible got its own. It interprets itself. It don't need your interpretation. It don't need my proof. My proof ain't shit. If the proof ain't, if the proof, if the Bible is the own number one proof, God's proof. My proof don't mean shit if it ain't backed up by the, by the word of God. That's what I tell the people on my mother's side. A lot of them is stubborn. Mm-mm. They is not going to accept that. They 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 come from a, a like a bloodline. Mm -mm. They would not. I don't give a. I don't understand why it's like that though. You can try to prove it to them. I don't know if God just say the kingdom is not. Excuse me. The kingdom is not for everybody. I understand that, and I guess heaven is not for everybody. So I get that. So maybe that's what they mean. Like. What they really saying, heaven is not for me. Because if, if heaven was formed, they would take heed to the script. But they ain't going to do it. They're not willing to do it. they just willing to follow. I had some people on my mother, not, not to be dissing or nobody, nothing like that, to tell me they had an elderly lady on my mother's side. I don't want to hear that. I ain't trying to hear it. No matter what I say, I can prove it to you. I ain't trying to hear it. You take that and take it and go out there and give it to somebody. I had them to tell me that. I said... It's amazing how people can be so damn cruel and so damn stubborn until they're willing to die. I believe, this is what I said before I turned this camera on. I said, I believe that the people on my mother's side, I, I, no, I'm just, well, let me say it like this. Uh, I believe this elderly lady is so damn stubborn. I believe that she can be dying of cancer. And I believe she would hold on to that stick, arguing with you dying with that cancer stick in her mouth and say she's going to eat a hog head cheese. And every, I really do believe that's the type of mindset that that, old, that elderly lady developed. And I think I believe they that's how far gone I believe by some of my people. If they know they're dying of cancer, I don't give a damn. I ain't trying to hear what you got to say. Let me die of cancer. I love my pork. I love my cigarettes. I love my pork chops. I love my crabs. I love my oyster shrimp. I don't give a damn what you say. Well, let me fucking die from it. That person, I believe they are that gone. I believe that they love that scene. They love that, that, that bacon and that ham so much. They are that delusion. They will literally sit in your face and sit in the flame and blaspheme the most high and tell them that and tell you that. That's how screwed up our people are. And they think he's right. It's just, it's crazy, man. I'm going to see y'all later. When it comes to truth, our people are very stubborn.
When it comes to Bible truth, real Bible truth, our people is very stubborn. That's what I mean. That's right. All right, I'm out.